Hello everyone, welcome to this new tutorial. Uh, this is Mosab and today I'm going to share with you my ultimate product research strategy uh, that helped me find multiple six figure products. And I will make sure to walk you through step by step uh, process so you can do that too, okay? And before I start, I would like you to focus really on that topic because from my experience product research is 80 percent of the work once you you find a solid product everything else will be much much easier so your success with e-commerce is strongly related with product research so what's what is a winning product let's break down uh, the winning product quality so we get more clear about what is a winning product okay so always when i want to to test a product i always ask these questions if the product solves a problem <clears throat> or save time or save money or improve confidence or improve convenience or it's impulsive buy or fill the void or improve life quality or it's unique and lastly if it cannot be found easily in stores so if the product at least answers at least three of these questions that means the products have a potential okay and uh, that, that will help you get more clear about your product that you found and not testing products randomly okay so let's start with technique number one facebook keyword research very simple technique we use the facebook search bar and we search using specific keywords okay so for example let's pick this keyword let's go to Facebook okay then we type keyword and let's go here we will find a couple of products here as you can see okay it's this one this one okay so we found a couple of products here. Um, okay. Your computer mouse has old technology. Okay. Okay. So all all these are are products that other ecom stores are running. Okay. Uh, that was the technique number one and we pick the pots with less than six months old and we with good engagement I mean with recent comments and if there is a more than half million views in in the video that that's a good sign okay and we save the links of the products we found okay so technique number two Facebook feed and uh, in this technique we will use our Facebook feed and we will install this Chrome extension called Turbo Ad Finder. This Chrome extension uh, let us see only the ad paths. As you can see on my feed, I I see only the ads. Okay, and that's and that's what we want to to check others and uh, other products. Okay, as you can see here, uh, uh, for example, let's take this one. um so these are uh for example this phone case okay okay so we use the facebook feed plus we engage with ads by liking the pages see here and liking the posts for example uh, I can like this page and like the post too. And okay, so I engage with the ads so I can see more and more similar ads. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, let's go here. Home. Let's go to checkout. 
um, now Facebook is tracking us. Uh, we are in checkout and the pixel is tracking us. What we are going gonna do here is we'll go to cancel and I will pick this code. Okay. We will replace this with the pixel ID. Okay. Um, the value is um, okay. Number of items one and yeah, and we enter. So as you can see here, there is a purchase event. That means that Facebook now sees us as like like we purchased this this product and that means they will start showing us more and more ads since we are buying okay that's the trick here so after using the technique number one and two uh those are all facebook technique i pre-select the products and uh, using the method that i will show you right now so i pick products that are six months old uh, or 12 months old maximum okay so uh, and I pick products with recent comments. For example, uh, let's take let's take this product and let's let's go here, okay? And sort comments by newest, okay? So the newest comment here is one week old. Uh, I wanna find a product with uh, new and fresh comments. I will try this keyword. Let's go here. Um, we should we should sort comments by newest to get my okay. So uh, here is a three minutes old comment. So this post is still running and it's a fresh ad. So that's a good, very good sign. Okay. Also, I if video views are more than half million views that's a good sign in this product we have six i think six million views let's let me check oh, we have five million views and it's two months old ad that's a very good sign uh i can start running ads for this product it seems uh, a winner okay so also i add uh in this case, I think we have, okay, we have bit.ly link. Uh, once I found a bit.ly link, I add a plus, so I can get a full idea how many clicks this uh, stores gets, okay? And this will give me an idea about uh, the click-through rate in the, the, the post, and uh, if there is more than 5K clicks a day, that's a high potential product. I add the plus here and uh, as you can see we can have an idea of how much clicks this ad gets okay so uh, that, that was the pre-selection method for Facebook products let's jump and continue to technique number three so technique number three I use YouTube I search uh, using a scene on TV TV commercial products products reviews and similar keywords and I dive deeper on research let's go here example and what we are going to do is um, product reviews um, seen on chi for example uh, using this keyword you can find different products like um, there's many products on YouTube so for example this one she's maybe talking okay so here is the product she's talking about and we can get uh, it's like a product 
looks like she's doing product research for us um taking all these products and um okay no okay so these are OG brushes okay so uh we take this as another example okay it's, she's doing a review for this product okay there is another video of her doing another review for this product okay here is another video um okay it's talking about this okay talking about this product um here is the links of the products he talked about in the video so you can go directly and check them out uh, I will use another keyword a scene in TV commercials okay so um I can go here um, for example, let's take this one. Okay. Okay. Mm, cool. So yeah, uh, those are different products that we can use and we can work on so this is youtube method and what i like to do is subscribe to these channels so i can get a notification once they upload a new video and a new review video so uh, that's the youtube method okay okay there is really core products out there on YouTube that you can uh, test and, uh, and use okay. there's a lot of products so that was the the technique number three uh, YouTube method we pick the products and we put them on our list so technique number four research using websites uh, in this technique I I browse multiple websites daily uh, that do reviews about products, about different products on the internet. So let's take a scene on TV live. A scene on TV live. And uh, in this website, we'll find uh, a couple of products that we can uh use and work on and they can be a uh, potential winners what i like to do here is go to bestseller section oh. and uh, then i check every product here uh check the video too okay Good. Okay, okay. Um so good. So uh what I do here is I check I have a list of websites like this one and I like to check them on a daily basis, okay? Uh that's what I do. I have uh also there is a uh, BuzzFeed uh slash shopping and the etsy new easy for example this website is let's go to new easy um okay as you can see we have a couple of products here uh yeah that's how you can do research using websites so i have a list of websites that i use to find products i will make sure to share it with you in the description 
but I will show you also how you can find more websites like these so you can find your own fresh products, okay? So let's pick new easy as example, okay? Um, we will go to similarweb.com copy the link um, um, okay I'll try with it as seen on TV okay cool and we go to to competitors and similar sites as you can see here um, I think I should okay good so as you can see here there is a couple of similar websites here that we can uh, use to find products ideas okay let's take this as example it's one two um, this one two okay 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 for example this website you'll find a lot of product ideas here a lot of them okay okay there's more ideas here too so you can find more websites to get to get inspired from using this using similarweb.com okay and you can make your own list using that so that was the technique number four uh let's jump to technique number five so technique number five i use this this chinese website 1688.com and i research using keywords like interest and but First, I make sure to translate them. Like, uh, let's take um, interesting, and we'll translate to Chinese. Um, okay. We copy this. We go here, and we search. So as you can see here, there is a couple of ideas. There's many actually. There's many ideas that we can get inspired from and and we sort by orders by you by clicking here and uh, yeah um you'll find a couple of ideas here and make sure to use other keywords like uh gadget tool similar to interested and in those the, the ones i showed you right now Technique number six, RSS feed. So uh, with this technique, uh, you can get a notification once uh, your competitors or any other stock that you are tracking upload a new product. So you can simply create a Kama feed account. It's completely free and we click subscribe. Uh, let's pick the store as example. Um, we slash collections slash um all dot ata okay so here is the link we add slash collections slash all dot atom then uh, we, we will have the store name here then we click save done every time this store will launch a new product we'll get a notification i use this method to to be able to keep tracking the trends and once a store uh, launch a new product i get a notification and i check if the product is trending if the product meets my uh, winning product criteria then i can decide if i should launch it too or no so that's the method they will do product research for you they will find ideas and we will get notifications here at our Kama feed account so yeah, that was um, the technique number six. Let's jump to technique number seven. So technique number seven, spy trolls. Spy trolls are tools that uh, let you spy on other Facebook ads. And uh, most of them, are, uh, almost all of them are paid. But recently I found that a free tool uh, called bigspy.com is a free solution 
to search on uh, on uh, Facebook as boss, but I don't find it professional enough. And uh, I mean, as spy is currently by far my best spy tool, but I don't suggest buying that when you are first starting, please, because I don't want you to to spend your money on anything rather than ads okay so your money should be spent on ads only when you are first starting then after that you can uh, invest on a spy tool so bigspy.com is a free tool but it's not a very very good one honestly uh i use these filters um to to find to find products ads um let's see try let's sort them by likes um okay for example for example this one um okay so let's example this product doesn't seem good this one so uh, this spy tool can can give you an idea about product uh, about uh, the Facebook ad boss but as I told you you don't you won't need that when you are first starting and the other techniques are really really enough to find your next uh multiple six figure products okay so uh that was the last technique and the technique number seven uh let's jump to pre-selection system for this general product that we found using these last techniques so i uh, use a uh, unicorn smasher extension it's an amazon uh extension let's check this one um um let's go back to to this um let's go back to this uh last row last store that we found um let's take this product as example so we'll take the product name search on amazon for this product and what i like to do is go to this this is the extension unicorn smasher i go to estimated cells um, um, okay, so this is the product that we found. Uh, as you can see, um, let's now I check how much purchase on that product. It's more than 500, which is uh, what I aim for. So if there is more than 500 sales on Amazon, that means the product is working, okay? and um, i would like to to check more here you can find another idea here too uh, um, so uh, there is a couple of sellers selling this same product that we found and they are uh, they have good amount of sales which means the, uh, which means this product is selling okay so i use aliexpress to check if the product is saturated or no let's uh just let's check this product and um i'm trying to find the english version anyways um okay we'll check by come uh, by uh, orders and uh, for example here as you can see uh this seller have 16 uh, orders 16000 orders um 200 orders so yeah uh this this product can be sold and uh it's not very very competitive yet uh if we found more than three sellers with uh 10 100 orders that means the product is saturated and we should better avoid okay so uh that's my my aliexpress method to know if product is saturated or no so now let's 
talk about the product selection system the method that will save you tons of money i see a lot of e-com guys that burn money on ads simply by testing random products and today i want i will show you how you can test products with high potential only okay so this is the sheet that i use to pick products that are worth testing so uh, I use this sheet and my team uh, use this sheet to decide uh, which product should we test and which product should we avoid, okay? So let's pick the same product, uh, this product, okay? Um, okay, so we take a look at the product, okay? I pass the name here, so Product solves the problem. Let me let me check the product more. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Okay, so if product solves the problem, yes. Save time, no. Save money, no. Improve confidence, no. Improve convenience, no. Impulsive buy, no. Fill the void, yes. Improve life quality, yes. Unique, uh, I don't think so. Uh, cannot be found easily in stores, I think, yes. It cannot be found easily in stores. So we got four yeses to this product. Uh, that means the products have a potential, okay? So this product, uh, this product is worth testing. Okay, let's take another product as example. Let's take this one for example. Um, um, okay, solves a problem? Uh, yes, because um, there's a lot of moms that want uh, a bag to, to carry all their tools and uh, everything, okay? So, solves a problem? Yes, save time? Uh, no save money no improve confidence no improve convenience no impulsive buy no fills the void yes improve life quality yes unique no cannot be found easily in stores no uh, this product uh, started selling on stores uh, two years ago uh, it was it was not available on stores which will make will make it a winner at that time but no now uh, you can find find it easily on stores so we got three uses on this product it can be still working if we did the market and why but uh, if we got more uses that means the products have more priority to be tested okay so yeah let's recap everything and uh, step number one is product research take your time it's 80 percent of the work D dive deeper in research okay step number two selection system switch off your emotions uh you shouldn't uh judge the product or uh, choose the product because you simply like it okay and the selection system will decide if you got more than three uses then the product is worth testing and step number three uh the product list if we have more uses that means high priority after doing research and filtering products, start by launching a product that got more uses. And I will uh, talk about testing phase uh, on the next videos. Make sure to subscribe so you get a notification once I upload my next video because testing is a very, very, a very important step too. Uh, you can test a winner product and get no results. Uh, so uh, testing is a very another very important topic that I will be talking about on the next video. Okay, so make sure to subscribe and like this video. Okay, um, so uh, here is the mistake that I want you to avoid and that I made when I first started. Okay, so mistake number one is starting with a niche store. Don't limit yourself. Start always with a general store and uh, just. Uh, any product that you found and that uh, that uh, you got more uses for it okay uh, mistake number two launching a product because you simply like it that's a huge mistake 
that I did when I first started and I skipped a lot of products and I didn't test them because I simply didn't like them and they turned to be a uh, multiple six figure product. So I don't want you to do that mistake. Don't switch your emotions as I told you before. Uh, go through the selection system and choose uh, your products based on that, okay? Uh, also selling an old product that doesn't work anymore. That means uh, working on a sat saturated product. Uh, you should avoid doing that mistake because it will cost you money. Uh, go through uh, the, the AliExpress method that I showed you to check if the product is old or no. Also check the Facebook uh, posts uh, for that product. If there is a lot of Facebook posts with on all dates that means the product is saturated and you should avoid that product okay so uh mistake number four is selling a product with less than 20 profit margin so uh you should keep in mind that we have cost uh, the ad costs and we are here to make profit not to 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 just sell okay and mistake the last one uh, is launching a product without going through the selection system. The selection system is not a random uh, sheet or or anything like that. You should be uh, using it f with every product, okay? So you don't lose your money on ads and you don't burn your money, okay? And I want. I want you really to let the data guide you. There is a quote saying, uh, in God we trust, everyone else brings data, okay? So data will give you the correct answer for for everything, okay? So uh, let, it, let the data guide you and because uh, finding a product is easy with this method that I showed you right now. But the key is picking the right products for testing and data will help you more and more uh, on this decision. And what I mean by uh, uh, letting the data guide you, I mean, go through the selection system. Uh, if you got more uses, then test the products, okay? So 21 days attack. Um, I want you to comment for 21 days and dive deeper in research with the technique that I showed you right now, okay? And the goal is finding your first six-figure month product. And keep in mind, one product can change everything, seriously. So, it, so 21 days is a really, really short uh, period that, that can change your life, okay? So commit for 21 days and uh, dive deeper in research, make a list of products, and go through the selection system, uh, pick the high priority products and launch the test. So that was the ultimate product research strategy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video um, and you got some value from it because uh, that's my end goal from this and uh, make sure to join our Facebook community. You'll find other mo motivated entrepreneurs like you uh, they, that wanna start their own online businesses. And um, if you have any questions, ask me there too. I'll be uh, there to answer you. Also, you'll find the resource link in the description, uh, the Facebook uh, pixel script and keyword list and the product selection system sheet there. Make sure to like the video because that that what motivates me more to upload the next ones as soon as I can. So that was my video. Thanks guys for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye.